Today, we will be looking at questions from the released questions from the New York State 2018 exam. Let's look at number 14. What is the rule for the pattern shown below? 41, 38, 35, 32, 29. A, divide by 3. So 41 divided by 3 is not 38. So that is not correct. 41 divided by 4 is not 38. So that is not correct. Subtract 3. 41 minus 3 is 38. But I need to check to make sure that that rule is true for the whole pattern. So let's go on to see if that rule is true for the whole pattern. 38 minus 3 is 35. 35 minus 3 is 32. 32 minus 3 is 29. So the answer is C, subtract 3. Let's look at D, subtract 4. 41 minus 4 is not 38. 41 minus 4 is 37, so D is not correct. Let's look at number 18. Which expression has the same value as 7 over 12? So we will solve for each expression. When I add fractions, my denominator stays the same. My denominator here is 12, so my denominator will always be 12. 2 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8, that is 8 twelfths. I am looking for 7 twelfths, so A is not correct. 7 twelfths plus 7 twelfths plus 7 twelfths is 21 twelfths, so B is not correct. 2 twelfths plus 1 twelfth plus 2 twelfths plus 1 twelfth. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, so that is 6 twelfths. That is not correct. 2 twelfths plus 1 twelfth plus 2 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. Let's see. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Equals 7 twelfths. The answer is D. D is the only one that has a value of 7 twelfths. Let's look at number 23. What is the quotient of 1,000? 248 divided by 7. And quotient means the answer to a division problem. So I'm going to solve this two ways. The first way is with a place value chart, and the second way is with the long division algorithm. So 1,248 goes up to the thousands place, so I'm going to make a place value chart that goes up to the thousands place. So I have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And the number that I'm dividing is 1,248 divided by 7. So now I have to split it into 7 groups because I'm dividing this number by 7. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups that I split it into. So I'm going to start with my thousands place. And if I have the number one, can I put that can I put the one into seven e seven groups equally? I cannot. So I'm going to take this one and move it to my hundreds place because one thousand is the same as ten hundreds. Now I have 12 hundreds and I have seven groups. Can I split 12 equally into seven groups? Well, I can put one into each group. I can't put two into each group because then I would 
have distributed 14, which is more than 12. So I distributed 7, so I'm going to subtract 7. And that is going to get me to 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. So now I have 5 hundreds left. 5 hundreds is the same as 50 tens. So I'm going to move that over to the tens place. Now I have 54 tens. Can I split 54 equally into seven groups? Well, I can distribute seven into each group. And seven times seven is 49, so I distributed 49. I'm going to subtract that. 54 minus 49 is five. So now I have five tens left. Five tenths is the same as 50 ones. So I'm gonna move that to the ones place. And I have 58 ones. And can I put 50, can I put 58 into seven groups equally? I can put eight into each group. And eight times seven is 56, so I distributed 56. 58 minus 56 is two. That's my remainder, so my answer is 178 remainder 2 my answer is what is in one of the groups right each group has 178 so that is my answer and I have a remainder of 2 okay now that is division with the place value chart now we're gonna look at division with the long division algorithm so I have 1,248 divided by 7. Okay, 7 cannot go into 1, but 7 can go into 12. 7 goes into 12 one time. 7 times 1 is 7. I'm going to subtract that. 12 minus 7 is 5. I'm going to bring down the 4. 7 goes into 54 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. I'm going to subtract that. 54 minus 49 is 5. I'm going to bring down the 8. 7 goes into 58. 8 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract. 58 minus 56 is 2. That is my remainder. 178. Remainder 2. Both strategies gave me the same solution which makes sense the answer is c let's look at number 24 which number sentence correctly compares two numbers before we do this question let's just do a quick review this symbol means greater than and this symbol means less than. Okay. So 46,315 is less than 46,350. Now the 46,315 is in word, word form. And the other number, 46,350, is in standard form. It is easier to compare the numbers if they are in standard form. So I am going to make a place value chart to compare these numbers. I'm actually going to erase what I had from the previous problem just to give me a bit more room. Okay. So I'm going to make a place value chart up to the 10,000th place. So ones tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay, 46,315. So that's going to look like this. 46,315. And the number I'm comparing that to is 46,350. 
I'm going to look at each place value starting with the biggest one to compare. So in my 10,000th place, they are both four. Those numbers are both equal. In my 1,000th place, they are both six. That is also equal. In my 100th place, both digits are three. That is also equal. But in my 10th place, I have a one and then I have a five. One is smaller than five, which means that 46,315 is less than 46,350. So, so far, A works. Let's look at B. Okay. B says 29,073. I'm going to put that in my place value chart. 29,073 is equal to 20,000 plus 9,000 plus 700 plus 3. So 20,000, so that means a 2 goes in my 10,000th place. 9,000, so that means that a 9 goes in my 1,000th place. 700, that means that a 7 goes in my 100th place. And 3, that means that a 3 goes in my 1's place. In my 10th place, there's nothing. That means I put a 0 there. So are those numbers equal? And they are not equal because in my 10,000th place, I have 2. my 1,000th place, I have 9. But in my hundreds place, I have a zero and a seven, and in my tens place, I have a seven and then a zero. So these are not equal, so B is not correct. Let's look at choice C. So C says 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 400, okay? 10,000, so I put a one in my ten thousands place. 6,000 is six in my thousands place. 400 a 4 in my 100s place, and then a 0 in my 10s place, a 0 in my 1s place. 16,410, that would look like this, 16,410. And it says that 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 400 is greater than 16,410. Let's see if that's correct. In my 10,000s place, I have 1, so it's the same digit. My 1,000s place, I have 6, that is the same digit. In my hundreds place, I have four, that is the same digit. In my tens place, I have a zero and then a one. So 16,400 is actually less than 16,410 because zero is less than one. So C is not correct. D, let's look at D. Eighty-six thousand five hundred and two. 86,502 is equal to 80,000 plus 6,000 plus 500 plus 20. So 80,000, so an 8 in my 10,000th place. 6,000, a 6 in my 1,000th place. 500, a 5 in my 100th place. 20, a 2 in my 10th place, and then a 0. And I can see that they are not equal. I have an 8 in my 10,000th place. A 6 in my 1,000s place, a 5 in my 100s place, but in my 10s place, I have a 0 and then a 2. And my 1s place, I have a 2 and a 0. So those are not equal. A is the answer. 46,315 is less than 46,350. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to my channel.